There may be times when none of the options that we offer under here may apply to the project you're working on. In that case, you can group your own elements by setting up element groupings here. So in my example here, I've got um, the uh, operators and the stock man. So let's say the operators are direct labor and the stock man is support staff. So I might come in here, I can edit my groups here and I can add one here. So I'm going to call it, uh, say I do a new one and say it's direct labor. Right, save it. And give me a color for that. So let's make that yellow. Right, and then we're going to add a new one and we'll call it support staff. Right, we save that and give it another color. Let's make it green here. Okay, we're done. We click on this. Those are now available to me. So all I have to do is click on the, the appropriate line. So I'll click on the num uh, row number one here. And all I do is touch the direct labor. You see it putting, getting put in there. So I can just click on all the way down through the direct labor entries. And then when I get to the stock one, I'll just switch to support stuff. So you can see I've basically color coded the, uh, the information I want here. And what will happen, of course, is when I save this and I go to the summary, I do get the appropriate breakout. Here's my direct labor content. Here's my support staff. Uh, I can double click on these and I can bring up all the observations that were included and suppress the, the various options that I may, may or may not want to include here. So again, this just shows you how you can create your own groupings uh, to, um, to define any particular need that you have within your operation.